Yo, it's your boy, Miles Cunningham. Shout out to Lucario. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody on the Patreon, on the Bad Boy Show, the Patreon on the Confidence Show, um, the Bad Boy Membership. Shout out to everybody who calls in or donates on the live streams. We really appreciate you guys. You guys keep the show going so we can keep the game flowing. All right. So today, what I want to talk about real quick is the importance of finding something that you love to do. The importance of finding your purpose, the importance of understanding your gift, the gift that you have to give to the world and how it benefits your relationship with women. Now, I'm not talking about this for the sole purpose of benefit, benefiting your relationship with women. We have, you know, countless audios and things on the bad boy membership to help you with your relationships with women. But what I'm explaining is that having healthy relationships with women is a built-in benefit of figuring out your purpose and finding out your gifts and what you're put on this earth to do as a man. Figuring out your gifts, your purpose, and what you love to do speaks to your identity, speaks to your sanity, it speaks to your overall disposition in life. It makes you a more agreeable, understanding, and compassionate person, a more passionate person. Because you're actually, each day you get up, you're actually doing something that you love to do. You're actually contributing to the health of your soul, of your purpose, of the, of the gift, of your literal identity as a man. You're, 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 it's, been, it's a benefit to you on an on a energetic level. And what that does is it makes you a better person and a better man. And another thing about doing something that you love is that you automatically are always trying to get when it's something that you love, you're all you're it's easy for you to always want to improve on it. So you're always reading up on things. You're always acquiring information. You're always discussing things with other people about your your gift or your purpose. You're always adding to your network. You're always increasing your resources. You're always coming up with strategic ways to get better, to be more profitable, to be smarter, to be more strategic, to have better outcomes and results when it comes to your purpose and what it is, whatever it is you love to do. And and, and what I want to talk about as well, real quick, is that what, what happens is <clears throat> as we develop as, you know, from young men, we sometimes we fall into the paradigm of simply selling our time for money in a mundane nine to five position. Now, what I want to say is that there's nothing wrong with a nine to five position. But what happens is, is that a lot of men become complacent and they don't and they never take the opportunity to go after what it is, their love or or their purpose. Now, some of some of us get lucky and we fall into a job or a nine to five that actually encourages our purpose and, and actually is a part of our purpose because everybody's not a boss. Everybody's not an entrepreneur. Some people are good at working for other people and there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that as long as you know that that's what you love to do because even within a nine to five, you will constantly try to get better. You'll constantly try to you know, get that next certification so you can get to the next level. You'll constantly try to increase your 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 status in that company so you can go from an entry level worker to a senior level worker to probably a manager and even a, a vice president or be on the board of, of members or what of partners or whatever. But the point is, because you love what you do, even though it's a nine to five, it it's it because it 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 speaks to your identity you're always considering getting better. You're always taking the time to figure out what it takes to get to that next level. And that is is just as important as an entrepreneur doing the same thing. And what happens is when you find a, something that you love as a man, it sets you apart from, the, like I said, the average guy who just simply is just stuck in a mundane situation where he's not really fulfilling his purpose. He's just trading his time for money. And that puts you in a certain plane of energy where you're not trying to get better and in that plane of energy you have very you have a low level of confidence and self-respect and when and then when you're dealing with women it shows that energy energy shows but when you're in a position where you you're doing something that you love 
A lot of great and positive energy comes with that. And when you're dealing with women, that energy shows. So when you tell her, hey, I need to, you know, we need to meet up at this place at this time, you know, on Friday and so on. And you set the date. She understands that she's dealing with a man that has priorities, that has purpose, that has a gift to share with the world. And she has to respect that. So so she understands that when you set a plan, it's something to be respected. You understand? So and if you're dealing with any woman that doesn't understand that, it's easier for you to to charge her because you already you're you're doing something that you love. You already know what it is. So when she's a, when she begins to flake and all that, it, there's no question that she needs to get charged. But a guy who who, like I said, is simply just trading his time for money and has no real purpose or love behind what he does, he'll. Because he doesn't have that level of confidence and self-respect, he'll more likely allow that chick to uh, flake on him and be willing to give her, make excuses for her and continue to try to see her anyway, even though she, she doesn't have any respect for him. And the thing is, a lot of men think that women just are just, you know, totally evil and right off the bat don't have any respect for, for, for you know, for, for, for him as a man. But what he doesn't realize is that his energy showed her already the level of respect that he has for himself. And when that level is low, she feels she's going to take the liberties and begin to feel like she can have some type of disrespect for that man. And she'll begin to flake and she'll begin to, you know, take forever to reply to his texts and so on and so forth until he wises up and charges her. You understand? But the point I'm trying to make is that a guy, a man that already understands his love and his purpose and his gifts and his his value, he'll be willing to charge her quick and early. And and if the chick is smart, she won't let it come to that. So she won't flake. You see what I'm saying? So that's what that's the importance of understanding what it is like. You have to you have to figure figuring out what you love to do, figuring out your purpose, figuring out your value and what you bring to this world and what your gift to this world and the way that you're going to make this world better before you leave it. It's a very important thing, and it's something that we have to uh, really pay attention to and understand, right? And continue to strive for. Because to be, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm 38 years old, and I didn't figure out my true purpose until I was 30. So it took, you know, I was still learning a lot about the game and a lot about myself within those years. But after age 30, I started to understand certain things and I started to really understand not only what I required from myself, but what I what I required from women. And the reason why I was so steadfast and so confident about what my requirements is because I realized what I required from myself, which was excellence and always moving forward and moving progressing in my purpose and progressing in my value and what gifts that I had to bring to the world. So when I began to deal with women, I dealt with I dealt with I dealt with them with more confidence and with more compassion and with more passion and more love for what for what I brought to the table. You understand what I'm saying? So the chick can either she can recognize my value and we can we can do something or she can act like she doesn't recognize my value and she can get charged. But the point of the matter is I already have my purpose and I know that the female is not necessarily my purpose. She's separate from my purpose. But if she wants to get with me, she has to understand my purpose and understanding my purpose means understanding my value. So my confidence and everything inside of me, I don't have to I don't have to give her any excuses. If she's acting up, then she gets charged. But once she recognizes the value, she doesn't act up. And therefore, we can actually move forward in, in, a re- in a relationship, whatever it is, whether it's fuck buddy or if she's trying to be my girl or even if she's trying to be my wife or whatever it is. But the point is, she recognizes who she's dealing with. Why? Because I have recognized who I'm dealing with. And, and understanding your purpose and understanding your gifts and your value is a big part of that. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, if you guys have any other questions or comments, you know, leave them in the comment section below. Um, question, you know, uh, subscribe comment, share, you know, send this to a dude that might need to hear this. You feel me? Um, but like I get again, um, shout out to Lucario, shout out to all the supporters, um, get on that bad boy membership, um, get on the Patreon, you know, 
and listen to the Bad Boy Show. Get on the Patreon and listen to the Confidence Show. And um, as always, the truth is, it, as always, the truth is inside you. Peace.